In this video, I will be continuing where I left off a few days ago from the live stream that I've completed, where we uh, grabbed some leads from Apollo, plugged them into this automation so that we can start our email, a cold email campaign. A link to the video will be in the show notes below, or I'll maybe plug it in somewhere in this video where you can click and, and kind of take a look at how I initially built the entire automation. But the reason I'm doing this video is because I fine tuned it a little bit so just so that way it can be completed in workable format. And I'm going to go into it right now. All right. Before we get started, be sure if you haven't yet, be sure to click the subscribe button below. I'm trying to grow this channel so that way we can share this amazing technology with other notaries and now we can spread the word about it. So the share, like this video and make sure you subscribe below. All right. So. The first thing we did is we went to Apollo.io. I'll include a link to Apollo.io below as well, where you can, where we went in there, started to free, open up a free account, and then we um, plugged in some search terms specifically to find um, title agencies in California. Let's just jump over to the what we came up with. So once we exported the leads, it pulled. We just pulled the first fourteen leads that we found, and it grabbed all of the lead information as far as their name, the websites, and some relevant fields here. Now, what we go to do next is we want to use these this, these fields to start our automation. So the first thing we did is to trigger this workflow in make, make.com. Again, it's our automation tool that we use in order to allow different applications to communicate with each other in a nutshell. Um, again, I'll include a link to make below as well. So. We connected the that spreadsheet that I just showed you into Make. Um, um, we, we, once we connected it into Make, we set up what's called um, an aggregator. Um, aggregator basically is going to take specific fields that we need because if you notice on the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet contained a bunch of fields, most of which we don't need. Um, so if we just click real quick, we just pull the, the the leads first and last name, email addresses and website that was the most important thing that we need because we'll i'll show you in a bit what we you we needed to pull that website data um to, to to extract some personal information about the specific lead once once uh we get the fields that we need we want to process each lead one by one we iterate through each uh of, of the flow one by one using this um um, this iterator, and then we just plug that information into um, Appify. Appify is a scraping tool um, that has a bunch of different. Uh, if we jump into it, it has a bunch of different uh, scraping uh, automations, or what they call it actors. Um, and in our particular case, we used a website or a crawler tool. And again, in the first video, I went into it in a little bit more detail. But once uh, we plug in a website here, Appify is going to pull as much information as it as it can, and then it once once all the information is processed, we grab that data from Appify, pull it into Make, and then we um, run uh, what's called uh, Perplexity <laughs> Perplexity.ai. Perplexity AI is our research tool. Uh, that we use, we gave it a command to analyze the website and the company website as well as the um, the transcript. This transcript is from the website data. And then what we did is we used um, um, Anthropic, Anthropic to create our subject line, and we also use Anthropic to create the body of the email as well. And once we have those pieces, we just composed uh, an email. Okay, and the, the tool that I use personally is um, a Microsoft Outlook, but you can use this with Gmail or if you just have um, your email hosted on like Yahoo or something else like that, you can all plug all of those tools in or even at, at this point, if you want to throw it into your CRM. So say you have um, if you want to plug it back into Apollo or if you want to plug it into like um, um, different other CRM tools out there, I mean, um, I use Apollo mostly, but if you have like HubSpot, you can plug it in there, or if you could plug it into some um, email marketing campaigns, tools as well here at this at this step, particular step. The last piece that I ran was a call, like a nap. So I wanted to control the timing. So I put two of these here. I put a 60 second nap here and during this automation between running the lead 
running, r- running, grabbing the information from the website and pulling the data. And I also ran it at the end because during doing a bunch of testing, Anthropic, Anthropic was uh, throwing back a lot of errors for overload because uh, Make was was kind of trying to push through this automation um, pretty quickly, but we just had to control that by putting in some timers in here, so that way it, it takes its time and it ran. And ran. So when, once I put this timer at the end of the automation, um, it, it ran pretty it ran pretty smoothly. So uh, we can run this a few times. We can run this just to see what we come up with, and um, let's, let's run it right now. So what I'm going to do just to control it is 14 leads, but I don't want to run all 14. Let's just run let's run two. All right. Well, so we'll run the first two leads. Uh, hit save and then we'll go through it now okay so let's run it once so again uh so again um it's gonna access the spreadsheet it pulled the first lead um if the first lead is the remax sky if we even if we go back to the remax sky we'll see that that's the first one right and appify let's pull the website data if we go back to actors and we go to uh runs We'll see that it's crawling the website right now. And um, Appify is pretty reasonable. I mean, I'm gonna admit, I actually upgraded my account between the last few days because I was running this so so much that I actually ran out the, I ran out of the $5 uh, allowance that they give per month for the free account. So I just upgraded it to a starter account, which gives you about $50 a month. So it's gonna be more than enough. But for you, as you're starting off, $5 would be way more than enough for you just to get started and start playing with this. And eventually, once you start doing a lot more automations, then you might want to bump up your account as well. So I went ahead and bumped up my account. So I have that allowance, but it's like it's this 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 task is it's still running, um, but it usually takes a, a minute or so to, to complete. Once it's completed, hopefully in time. OK, so it ran, it completed. Let's see if it pulled the information here. All right. So the email research. It looked like, um, let's see what came out here. Message content. All right. So identify key components, yada, yada, yada. Okay, good. So it ran through the first one and I got the first email. So let's, let me just pull it up here. So that way you can see. So this is the email that came through. So the subject line says loyalty escrow Inc. 247 closers, which is my company guarantees a certified notary in five minutes or less. This is high loyalty escrow team as a high volume escrow company. You likely face the challenge of efficiency management of, of efficiently managing a large number of real estate transactions. Coordinating, coordinating with notaries to ensure timely signings can be a time consuming and stressful task, potentially impacting your ability to deliver excellent service to your clients. Then it goes off with a paragraph about my company and it says, want to see how 24 seven closures can help you manage your escrow transactions more efficiently. Let me know a convenient time to schedule a personalized demo and discuss how our services can benefit your business. So. This is all automated. And what I did is I had, I had to have it saved to my, to my drafts instead of just sending it out right away. So that way we can just review it and you can fine tune it as you see fit. But this automation is doing 90% of the work for you ahead of time. So you can run this if say, if you pull a lead, you pull 50 leads, you can just have this run and send, send it all to your, um, send it all to your drafts folder in, in your email client and then you can go in and just fine tune it and um or you could if if you 100 percent confident with this you're going to send it out right away but um it's, it's good to just you know take a draft of it first because you know what ai is not perfect <laughs> no matter how much instruction you give it or if you give it strict instructions sometimes it, it just it's just not perfect right so being mindful of that, I just created the drafts and I can go in on the back end and um, I can uh, check and see what's going on. So one thing that I, I played around with is using Anthropic, Anthropic, Anthropic Claw, <laughs> sorry, versus using um, ChatGPT or OpenAI. Uh, the difference is Anthropic to me sounds, I'm starting to lean towards it more when you're trying to do something a little bit more personalized, like emails or things like, or things like that, like personalized campaign or even for social media, but on their back end, like Anthropic, they're not as 
robust as OpenAI is. Yeah, OpenAI's backend system is pretty robust so that you can kind of hammer it and it will just take that load. Whereas Anthropic, which is, you know, I mean, this is their new company, a newer company in the space. Uh, they're, they're not, they don't, their back office is not as strong as, um, open AI. Um, so that's why, but, but I like how when I'm drafting emails and things like that, that's going to be personal. I feel like Anthropic, um, has, does a good job of make, of humanizing a lot of the, the, the content that it pushes out. So I'm playing with both, uh, Anthropic, Anthropic and, um, of course, open AI. Um, I, lo I love both of them and I, and I use each one um according to what i'm trying to build all right and in this particular case anthropic is is it was it was a good, good fit and i like the way that it handled um, what was asked oops sorry so all right so now it's running through the second it's running through the second iteration um if we go here this one is let me see if i pull the lead here give me a second all right um, the second one, right? So this is the second bundle. The second bundle is to be Sharon Santos with uh, Pickford, Pickford Escrow Company. So that's what it should, that's what it, it should be processing, right? So if we go back to the runs, we've seen that the second run already completed, and this one is two pennies. Um, it's crawling six of twenty-eight pa uh, pages. So we're gonna let that run. Um, oh, I actually finished. I actually, pulled what it what it can right so it pulled <clears throat> different information from the pages uh let's see county let's see text that it pulled so it pulled some information from their home which is good so let's look at the research next second operation let's see what it came up with uh choices one message content this is what it pulled from the company. So it says, uh, based on the provided transcript and the company's website, here is a summary of the key points and information that can be used to compose a customized email. So it gave their mission, the certifications that they have, their history. Um, they've been in operations for 30 years, their offices, key employees. It pulled, um, it pulled some testimonials, pulled their phone numbers, emails. I mean, it pulled a lot, pulled some good information. And the email already came through. So let's take a look at that one. All right, let's see. Good. Pickford escrow notary signing services and under five minutes guaranteed. Hi, it says he says first name. He although pulled name, it didn't, it didn't put their name here. So that's something that we could tweak. And again, this is part of the reason why I like to create it as a draft first. So that way we can go in and we can add a name. Okay. I did pull the email though of uh, S Santos. Right. It says, um, as a real estate professional, you understand the importance of smooth and efficient closing processes for your clients. However, finding a reliable notary and certified notary can often be a time consuming and frustrating task, potentially leading to delays and dissatisfied clients. And it says what we specialize in. Would you be interested in learning more about 20% closers? So let's compare it. So. One thing I noticed that it didn't do, which I wanted it to do, was be a little bit more personal, personalized. Um, um, as a high volume escrow company, so it did pull that there as a real estate professional. You understand? So it was generic, but uh, as you can see, these are both customized. Um, and I and I did specify that it put chairs, Aaron, on the bottom of the email. You can choose whatever signature you want. In, in fact, if you have an HTML signature or like maybe a, a photo of a picture, it can almost more than likely um, insert it there as well. But I mean, this is all automated, guys. I mean, this is all automated, right? So we, pl we plugged in some leads. We, we pulled some free leads from Apollo. Um, we plugged throw it into a Google, a Google um, sheet, and then we just pull it from the sheet and create and customize emails. So I mean, this is a this is a, again a amazing technology. I'm gonna plug this in i'm going to plug this completed automation in my course um uh, ai automations course when you get that when you get the, the file all you have to do is click on this these three buttons down here the more button click on import and it'll import this entire automation into your make account and then you won't have to do all of this work yourself uh i believe on the last on the last um video i showed the commands that i used um, let's just stop this right now. We're gonna stop it because it's still, still running. Um, let's just do a four stop. 
All right, and uh, I showed all the commands that I use and the th things that I, I tweaked along the way. If you ever see this in detail, leave some links in the, leave some comments below and I'll just throw this into uh, the description below. But if you, again, if you're part of the community, you'll have access, have access to this. Um, Cause I don't wanna make this a long video. This is just part two, just wanted to show you what I came up with. All right. Uh, this is a cool automation. How uh, you could even take it further where you can pull directly from Apollo and start feeding this as well. But I kind of wanted to take it step by step and just kind of control it a little bit more. But maybe if you guys want me to do that video, but we could pull it directly from Apollo, just leave the comments below and then I'll, I'll go ahead and do that video as well. All right. So it was a pleasure. Again, be sure to smash the subscribe button. Be sure to like this video and share it and I will see you next time. All right. Peace out.